So today I am in Stockholm. And the reason I'm in Stockholm is because I am working with Epidemic Sound, who you might be familiar with because of this channel or you know many other channels that, that use their services. I'll speak a little bit more in detail later on in the video about Epidemic Sound and what they do, but in short, they provide music and sound effects for creators to use. And I'm currently out here in Stockholm because I'm going to be shooting some new press imagery for two of their artists. So first up today, I'm gonna to be shooting with one of the classical composers that they work with, Hampus. My name is Hampus Neselius, and I uh, make, I would say, cinematic music for Epidemic. I make like cinematic, epic uh, film music. So it's, it's quite, it's orchestral. So a lot of instrumentations. For Epidemic, I've been working now, I think uh, for three or four years. Uh, started to make music here and it was uh, super, you know, super good because you can really uh, develop your artist um, profile and, and creativity, I would say. So yeah, it's a, it's a great, great way to get heard, I would say, uh, in this modern world. So in today's video, while I'm here in Sweden, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to talk about some of my best tips for shooting press shots for musicians, and also to dive into some of the behind the scenes on my shoot with Hampus. So what would you say now? What is, where is my good side? Is it this one or that one? Oh, I, I, I don't know. Like, I think oh. both your sides look very similar. Okay, good. Yeah, um, but just some people have a side that they prefer. Do you know what I mean? Like when you take uh, whatever selfie or something, like this, yeah. you do that really, you have one side that you naturally. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to sit down? Yeah, if you, you take a seat. Aim, aim. <laughs> take aim. And the direction should be straight there, or? Yeah, wherever you aren't blinded. <laughs> uh, I'll get you to look down for me. Yeah, that looks really nice. I think that's the thing with like photos, you've got to stay kind of true to who you are. Right, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's not. <laughs> okay, cool. If you just lift your head up a little bit so that, yeah, a little bit less. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, perfect. Cool, looking up a little bit. Yeah. With your head back a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, perfect. So the most important thing to consider when you're shooting with musicians is the tone and the vibe of their music. Hampus's music in particular is cinematic and grand. As a classical artist, his images are gonna need to convey a different message to those of maybe like a rapper or of an R&B artist such as Mimi Bangora, who was the second artist that I shot over the two days I was in Sweden for. Visual communication is such an important aspect of photography. You know, one that's affected by everything such as your choice of lighting, your choice of location, your styling, your the colours that you use. So it's important to make sure that you consider the type of music and the artist's personal brand before you shoot your images. We were able to create drama within Hampus's studio session by using, you know, moody lighting, contrast, colour psychology, colour theory, using like complementary colours to kind of reinforce the atmosphere within the photos. When you're working with musicians, another thing that's important to consider is the output of your photos. Where are those photos gonna end up and what are they gonna be used for? When it comes to press shots, this could be anything from social media to press releases to Spotify headers. So because of this, it's really important to consider your output within your composition. So are you shooting the photos in the correct orientation, you know, portrait or landscape? There's different formats called for different orientations. Or maybe are you using enough negative space within your photo? Is there space for type if type is needed on a photo for like a Spotify banner, for example? Before you start a shoot, it's a good idea to kind of think about where the photos are gonna end up at the end of the whole process. So after our studio shoot, Hampus, Silvio from Epidemic Sound and I headed out to a more natural view of Sweden. We headed out towards some lakes, some kind of like forest area. And this was to give a, you know, a slightly different vibe to the studio work. I played a lot of Hampus's music throughout this video and you can see that, you know, as well as doing that dramatic, a really grand music, he also has music that is quite peaceful. And I think these photos in particular really draw on that 
kind of element of Hampus's work. Something that I believe is really important in all aspects of portrait photography, you know, whether you're working with musicians, models, friends, actors, wh whoever you're working with, I think it's really important that you try and build some sort of rapport with that person in front of your camera. You know, I think it may be even more important when it comes to musicians because musicians maybe aren't as used to being in front of a camera as maybe models or actors are. One of the plus sides of being able to spend a whole day shooting press shots is having the time to get to know the person that you're photographing. Not only does this help the person in front of your lens warm up, um, it also helps you kind of understand them, understand their the natural ways in which they move, the ways that they talk, so that when you're photographing them and you're taking portraits, that can really help you in terms of posing, directing, because you can draw on things that you've noticed that those people like naturally do. You have a better understanding of which angles might work for photos and an understanding of how you can really communicate that person through your photo. So after my day with Hampus, it was time for day two in Sweden, in Stockholm. And that included a tour of the Epidemic Sound offices, led by Silvio, and a shoot with another one of Epidemic Sound's artists, Mimi Bangora, who is an R&B artist from Sweden. This is a good point in the video for me to talk to you a little bit more about Epidemic Sound and who they are and what they do. So Epidemic Sound has a huge library of music and sound effects with new tracks added every week and it's my personal go-to for all of my soundtracking needs you know whether I'm working on a client project a Skillshare class or a video for this YouTube channel not only is all of the music in my YouTube channel sourced from Epidemic Sound but also all of the sound effects that you hear on this channel so when you hear a camera shutter sound like this before a photo goes up on screen that's courtesy of Epidemic Sound they have over 90,000 sound effects which are easy to search for and music from an array of different genres, all professionally produced by a diverse collection of artists such as Hampus and Mimi and are exclusive to Epidemic Sound. You can use Hampus's music and other amazing tracks within your videos with a 30 day free trial for Epidemic Sound, which will be linked in the description of this video. Let's get back to the video and have a look at my final tips for shooting press shots with musicians. So during both my shoot with Hampus and my shoot with Mimi, we worked on creating diversity throughout the shoot, you know, mixing things up, whether that's the location, the lighting, the styling, or just a mixture of everything. This means that you're going to be providing the artist with, you know, a considerable amount of content that will last them quite a while. And, you know, the more value that you're able to offer a client, um, the better. So for Hampus's shoot, we used a mixture of different backdrops using a white backdrop and a black backdrop but we really changed it up using different lighting techniques. We also changed up his outfits and of course headed outside for some location shots. For Mimi's session, we stayed inside the studio and we just used one Colorama backdrop. So we used this purple backdrop, but we changed up the styling to create different options. One of the pros with working with the same backdrop with one backdrop throughout a shoot, such as we did with Mimi's shoot, is that it creates that consistency throughout. It also can help to really solidify kind of the brand image that you're trying to put across. So for example, in Mimi shoot, we used a lot of bright, bold colors, such as the purple backdrop. Whereas with Hampus, the color palette was a lot more neutral. Both of these choices also link back to my earlier point about you know designing a shoot based on the personal brand of the artist that you're working with and their music. But that just about wraps up today's video. I hope you've enjoyed some of my tips for shooting artist press shots. It's one of my favorite parts of my job. A big thank you to Silvio, Hampus, Mimi, and the whole team at Epidemic Sound for welcoming me to Stockholm, for showing me around, and even taking me for a fika. Stockholm is somewhere that I hadn't visited before and it's a really beautiful city. So I'm definitely looking forward to returning and exploring in a little bit more depth. Remember that you can use the link in the description to get a 30 day free trial for Epidemic Sound. Not only that, but in the description, I will link Mimi and Hampus so that you can check out their amazing music. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.